dear parents teachers student brothers and sisters in christ isham sheikh sudhi arikate we begin our lent today it is the days of meditation about the passion death and resurrection of our savior jesus christ as we read in the book of isaiah chapter 53 verses 5 but he was pierced for our offenses he was crushed for our wrong doings the punishment for our well being was laid upon him and by his wounds we are healed yes we are healed by his wound and unimaginable pain he suffered we can meditate and change our sinful inclinations it is a chance to grow in our spiritual life by embracing the virtues and goodness our mission league children under the leadership of sister josia are making a series called journey to the empty tomb these videos includes moral stories and different themes kindly watch it and share it to your friends and grab the fruits of it i congratulate all the teachers parents and the students who work hard to make these videos a special thanks to sister josia and joyal putambara who edited all these videos i wish you all the success and a fruitful london days may god bless you hello everyone hopefully everybody is having a marvelous day today and i'm not going to take too much of your time but i am here to represent a message and a story to you all today and first of all i would like to start off with my name My name is Jude Joe Benucetto and I am from the St. Mary's Grana Catholic Foreign Church located in Houston. And today I would like to recollect on a story and represent a message. But to add on, I would like to inform you that I am the president of the Little Flower Mission League located once again as I have said before in Houston. So let's get started. Many people might not know, but the story of Jacob and Esau many might recall to us Cain and Abel. But Jacob and Esau, they have two different effects and endings. Cain and Abel have a negative ending, but Jacob and Esau, they have a positive ending. Jacob and Esau were the children of Isaac and Rebekah. Isaac as we all know is the son of Abraham also known as the miracle child. So one day Jacob took his brother Esau's birthright from him for a hunger for soup. After that Jacob put his hairy because Esau was hairy. Jacob put all hairy in his body. After he put all the hairy everything in his body Jacob went to Isaac. Isaac since he was really old, he couldn't understand if it was Esau or Jacob. And we have to understand that Esau is the older child. So Isaac recollected and thought Jacob was Esau, so he let him, Jacob, have the birthright. Afraid that Jacob would kill, Jacob would get killed. Rebecca sent Jacob to her brothers. Uncle Laban. After seven years, Jacob stayed there. Jacob stayed there, and after that, he came back. He came back. He had wonderful stories. He wrestled with God. He recollected on what he did. What was his wrongs? What was his rights? He thought that if he went went back, he would probably die. No one knew the cause. No one knew the effect. So he went back. He went back with his family, his children, he went back with everyone. 
And as everybody would thought Jacob would get hurt or killed, Esau treated him with care. And we have to understand that as a great brother, since he treated him with care and love and respect, Esau didn't mind that his own brother took his birthright. He took love, care, and respect in that. He knew that he had to make a decision and he had to think fast. Esau is a great person. It's not like Cain and Abel. There's no anger here. There's just joy and happiness. So let us recollect. Joy, happiness, and respect are the key points in our life. We must recall a message that we must always have joy, happy, and respect. Happiness is the key to life. Joy is significant to life. Respect is what we do to one another. So this Easter, to the journey to the tomb, may we all have respect, joy, and happiness towards each other. And may we stay safe and take precautions during this time. Once again, as I might not have said before, Happy Easter to everyone and have a great day.